Welcome back to the Survival Gardener Minute. I'm David the Good. I just posted a copy of my new book, Florida Survival Gardening, a pre-release copy for my YouTube channel members. So if you are a channel member, go check that out. Um, and don't share the link. <laughs> it's just been sent to my publisher as well. It's not the finished version, but I wanted to take care of you guys. So if you're a YouTube channel member, meaning you're a paying subscriber to this channel, go ahead and grab it. Um, I'm gonna take it down shortly. So on to today's question. Composting. We had a few more composting questions after the post I did yesterday. So the first one is from Heather and Heather says, so is it safe to use compost that smells like rotten sewage? I have mine in garbage bins, which are really hard to turn when it starts getting full and the stuff at the bottom always smells horrible. I'll take it out and let it sit in the sun for a day and that helps a tiny bit with taking the smell away, but not by much. And the second question is from Lourdes, who says, I have an army of cockroaches feeding in my compost. Is it normal? How do you deal with them? It is like a horror movie every time you put anything in it. Oh, composting is so scary, isn't it? It smells bad and it's full of, it's full of cockroaches. It's evil. So, um, yeah, okay, both of these things are normal. Let's deal with the cockroaches first. Cockroaches are what is called a primary decomposer, meaning that they get in and they chew stuff up and they leave, they turn it into manure. So composters, are, uh, composters uh, cockroaches are like the best composters. So you're a composter, but a cockroach is an even better composter. Um, cockroaches chew their way through stuff and, and, and leave manure behind and shred it and turn it over and turn it over and turn it over. So they're turning it, chewing it, shredding it, turning it into droppings. They're not a problem. Um, there's a good reason not to leave your compost like right next to your house because yeah, cockroaches will live in it, but all kinds of other stuff lives in it too. Somebody asked me about ants the other day. What about ants in the compost? The ants fill up the compost bin. Don't worry about it. They're chewing and manuring and turning and helping it heat up and break down. That's just the way God made them. I mean, there's a lot of little bugs and insects that will go through there. There's cell bugs and there's earwigs and there's millipedes and there's worms and there's all kinds of other stuff that will live in there and break it down. Don't worry about it, that's natural. Now, as for the stinking, horrible, uh, rotten garbage smell that Heather is talking about, that is what happens when you have anaerobic decomposition. So there's aerobic decomposition, which is where you uh, compost joggers, and then there's anaerobic compost. Okay, no, aerobic <laughs> aerobic decomposition is where you have oxygen in the process. Anaerobic is when you don't have oxygen in the process. So anaerobic smells really bad. That's your like rotten sewage, rotten egg smell. You know, horrible garbage stink. It's it's not bad though. Remember, plants don't have noses. I keep saying that plants don't have noses, but it's it's breaking down either way. So if you don't want that stink, cover it well, you know, with a bunch of material so you can't smell it, or make sure that there's enough air growing through. So composting in trash cans, it's just what happens. Don't worry about it. It'll break down just fine, and it will actually hold a lot of the nutrients. And there have been reports that anaerobic decomposition actually holds the minerals and nutrients better than aerobic. It just smells horrible. So there you go. Two things to deal with in your compost that you've probably had happen to. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Um, I try to do another live stream before too long. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe and ask your questions in the comments if you have gardening questions because we're gonna keep doing these survival gardener minutes that are never actually a minute right on through the apocalypse. Catch you guys later.